captain of the guard leads Alexander into the throne room, where a ceremony seems to be in progress. Alexander feels his blood run cold at the sight. I, Kasima, declare Abdul al Hazred as my lawful and beloved husband and king of this realm. But, Kasima, what are you saying? Do you still claim that the princess is being forced? Perhaps it's you that's the danger, as the wizier has said. Well, let's figure this out. Alexander can't believe his eyes as he looks at Kasima. Could she possibly mean to wed Al Hazred? Is she out of her mind? That scheming blackguard Al Hazred, wazir of this realm, is in the process of marrying Kasima and securing a place as king of the land of the Green Isles. All right, listen up, Kasima. I have a word with you. Kasima, stop! Prince Alexander here? This is an outrage! How dare you allow this traitor to get past you, Saladin? You stupid mutt! Can't you even keep the castle free of assassins during your own princess's wedding? Kill him! Kill him now! <sighs> Lord Alhazred, with all due respect, you are not quite king yet. And this is a wedding ceremony, not an execution. What? How dare you contradict me, you flea-bitten mongrel! I gave a direct order. Obey me, or feel my wrath. Milady, I apologize for my behavior, but I am yours to command in all things. I wanted merely to hear your own wishes from your own lips. Tell me what it is that you wish me to do with this young man, and I will obey. Why, Captain, you heard my dear Abdul. If he wishes this atrocious young man's death, then I want nothing more than to see him get his wish. Obey thy liege now and always. As you wish, princess. No! Just as Saladin prepares to run Alexander through with his sword, a shout is heard from the direction of the Grand Hall. Hold! In the name of the true king! King Caliphim and Queen Alaria burst into the throne room, looking alive and well, and full of wrath. Behind them, a line of supporters look prepared to battle, if necessary, for their beloved royal couple. Aw, oh, yeah! Kasima, darling, are you all right? Has he hurt you? Hands off of her, you murderous goat! If I want your advice, I'll ask for it, mother. But, Caliphim, that's not Kasima. I'd know my daughter anywhere. What have you done with our daughter, you devil? The lovely image of Kasima suddenly bursts into smoke and is replaced by the Wazir's genie. Uh -huh. Why, you, you conniving serpent! Get him, guards! Saladin, your sword! Drat it all! You may have ruined my plans, but you won't get me, or your precious Kasima. Get them, Shamir! I command you! He's getting away! Stop him! Yes, sire! As soon as I deal with this genie! Please deal with him! You can see... <laughs> you can see him dealing with him right now. Saladin is busy battling the magic-wielding genie. Is Shamir, <laughs> the wazir's genie, begins to throw balls of dazzling light at the guard dogs. Is that what he's doing? It looks like he's standing still to me. Alright, let's go. Eh, you're not getting away so easily. Uh, Abdul, come back here. Look at that snake. Get back here. I like that we finally get a portrait for him. It's ugly, just like we assumed him to be. Here we go, guys. 
Alexander, be careful, Al Hazard has a sword. Shut up, wench! Shamir Shamazel! Get in here! Here I am, master! It's about time, you bumbling fool! How could you let him follow me? Well, there were the guard dogs, master, and then... Never mind! Just kill him! Kill him now! <sighs> As you wish, master. Razzle, dazzle, snap and snazzle! Oh, God. Alexander, I did it! I swapped the lamps! Here, quick, take it! Bless you, Jalo. I knew you could do it! Now get clear, friend. No arguments there, my lord. Good luck! Alright, Shamir. You're going in this thing. Right now. Shamir Shamazo, hold your spells. I am your master now. I order you to go back into your lamp. How did you get my lamp? You thief! You... You... You've ruined me! My lamp! Oh, thank Balhalla! I hated working for that loathsome creature. I already feel his nastiness leaving me. How I've longed for a master like you. I've got a new master. I've got a new master. Uh... So, you are a thief as well, Alexander. Stealing the lamp was very clever, I'll grant you that. But I am the master thief. Face my sword if you dare. The man left standing shall have the lamp. So shall it be, Al Hazred. I don't need the genie to deal with a coward like you. Let's save. Just cause, just cause I want to. We'll save it here. And we'll take this. Inspiration. Alexander fixes upon the only weapon in sight. Zounds! This sword must weigh a ton. <laughs> Good. Then you shall only fail sooner, my prince. Ah, get him! So, the mouse would bite? This mouse shall bite. You shall soon see, or should I say, soon feel? Ooh, it's about the most aggressive thing that Alexander said. Ha! You can barely lift that sword, my prince. Better to lay it down now. I promise to dispatch you with little pain. A tempting offer, but I think I'll wait and see what this sword can do. Suit yourself. So I'm not certain, but this part may have been done with motion capture. Sierra did a lot of like motion capture games uh, shortly after this. Sorry, I'll shut up and let you guys enjoy the epic battle scene. Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. Ha! And so it ends! Not if I can help it, you murderer! Kasima thrusts the small dagger into Al Hazred's shoulder with all her might. Ah! You! You dare raise a finger to me? You will regret that, princess. Fuck you, bro. Kasima, are you all right? I'm fine, Alexander. I was just so afraid for you. There's no need to fear anymore, princess. Yes, I know. How can I ever repay you? For myself, for my kingdom. It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, princess, to give me more than your gratitude? Alexander, <laughs> what? what are you saying? I love you, Kasima. Would you ever consider... Do you think you could... 
marry me? Could you ever have doubted it, my prince? <gasps> Look! Finally! Uh, uh -huh. Oh! Guards! Princess Kasima, are you well? I'm quite well, thank you. Please take Abdul and put him in the dungeon. See to it that he gets a doctor. Yes, Majesty. <laughs> Sucks to be you. See you later. Or never. Aw oh, man, no witty, no witty uh, line right there? No, you haven't seen The Last of Me or anything like that? Come on. Kasima and Alexander ask Captain Saladin to perform their wedding ceremony. Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, we witness the union of Kasima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, Prince of Daventry. Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Kasima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Princess Kasima of the Land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring? I have Alexander's royal insignia ring. Very good. Please place the ring on Kasima's finger. Who gives this bride to be wed? Her mother and I willingly give our daughter's hand in wedlock. Who will speak for the groom? I will. <laughs> Alexander's mother and I recognize his marriage to Princess Cosimo with glad hearts and sanction this union. Then, Alexander and Cosima, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Hooray! 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 All right, thank you for that. So we got to see our old buddy King Graham again. Congratulations, my children. I have an important question for you both. Please hear me. Yes, sire? Alexander, I welcome you into our family with open arms. I place trust in Alhazred because I so badly wanted a son and a husband for my beloved daughter. I was wrong. But you are true and good, Alexander. You have proven yourself to all my people. Thank you, sire. Olaria and I have been through much, even though we have returned to our kingdom. I do not think we are able to reign again. Will you two consider the crown? I know as king and queen, you can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that Alhazred has inflicted upon it. Oh, father. Why, I'm honored. What do you think, Kasima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. Father? I believe I'm needed here. Would you be very disappointed if... Son, you must follow your destiny. I do believe the land of the Green Isles needs you. You'll be a magnificent king, though dearly missed in Daventry. Then... I accept. Oh my boy, what a man you've become. And how I will miss you. Don't worry, mother. With Shamir's powers, we'll be able to visit often. <laughs> I'm not about to forget my family. Mm, congratulations, Alexander. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, dear sister. Aw, oh, Rosella. Alexander, I'm so glad. Between the return of my beloved parents and our new reign, you've made me so happy. I'm glad I could make up for some of your suffering, my beautiful wife. Congratulations, King Alexander. When we return home to Daventry, your crew will be glad to hear that their battle at sea was worthwhile. His crew? Bringing forth a new monarch. We were so worried when your men arrived home without you, son. I'm so thankful that you are safe and happy. 
And I am as grateful that my crew did not pay for my driven heart. Who invited these assholes, by the way? Good fortune, sire. With Shamir saved and his power used for good, reuniting the islands will be far easier. He has already repaired the ferry. Your road will be easier now that the islands are no longer feuding. Already the wounds are starting to heal. Yes, my love. Discovering the island's stolen treasures has done more to bring peace to this land than anything else. It is now clear that Alhazred had Shamir steal each of the island's most valued treasures, then blame the thefts on others to cause the islands to hate each other. Now let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done, and a new reign begins. Long live King Alexander and Queen Cosima. Long live Long King live Jallo. King Alexander! Long live Queen Cosima! Long live the land of the Green Isles! Hooray! 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 <laughs> We get it. Happy ending. What is this song? Oh my god. You seem so far. Holy crap, this song... I just need to hear your voice. This song actually received some airplay back when this game was released. If you can believe it. Like, on the radio. On the pop chart. Oh man, it's called Girl in the Tower. I forgot about this. So Jane Jensen did all the text and the dialogue. And uh, from what I've been hearing, she is the mastermind behind the Gabriel Knight series. Another, uh, oh god, I'm gonna turn this down. Um, she is the mastermind behind the Gabriel Knight series, which is another Sierra point-and-click adventure game uh, series. I believe there are three of them, and from what I hear, they're a bit more... Uh, horror-centric, a little darker, and I actually have not played any of them. So uh, I recently got those games from GOG, so I, I've got them ready to go, and I uh, was wondering if anybody watching this video would be interested in seeing them, because I would surely love to play them. However, it would be quite a bit different from this playthrough, because I... Uh, Rusty Taylor, that was... Well, that's Minnie Mouse. Huh. Rusty Taylor? Who was she? Hmm. Okay, uh... Oh, oh, she was, um... She was the, the, the winged one, uh... That we rescued. Whatever. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the princess winged one or whatever. Anyway, um... Yeah, so let me know if you're interested in seeing the Gabriel Knight series. I don't know when, I will, when I'll be getting to it, um... But it's it's on the list for the future. Also on the list for the future is potentially King's Quest 7, though you should know that King's Quest 7 is much cheesier than this one and uh, it took sort of a more cartoony style. In fact, there's even an opening musical number, so it's quite a bit different than this game. Um, the core point-and-click puzzle gameplay is pretty much the same, if a bit more cryptic, and it's a bit of a longer game. But, um, I mean, it's it's decent. It's the last good one. Uh, King's Quest VIII is not even worth mentioning. Uh, but you can look up that on your own if you want. Um, yeah, that's about all I gotta say. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this playthrough, and if this was your first time hearing about the game uh, through watching this series. That's always cool to hear. And uh, I guess I'll just let the credits roll. I believe we got 231 out of 231, but yes, awesome. Maximum points, 100% of the main path puzzles in King's Quest 6. That's great to see. 
Congratulations on your excellent performance. If you want to go beyond the ultimate score, I recommend that you try the other easier entrance to the castle. You can do so easily by restoring back to a point just before the druid's rainstorm. Don't go back to see the druids. Instead, head for the castle. New puzzle challenges await you. Huh. I think I actually... Yeah. Okay, I think I remember that the, the uh, shorter path was a little bit different inside the castle. Okay, well, well, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to do that because I think the long path is much more interesting. But thanks, Sierra, for making a good game and for giving me that tip at the end. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.